is evidenced by the understanding of the revelation of Daniel chapter 9 when the Lord God said 70 weeks, which means feast of weeks, are determined, look at this, to cut off, to cut off. 70 weeks are determined upon thy people. When I had gone into this even recently, and I was talking with Mike and some of the other brothers had been talking about it for a couple of years. I had bounced back on back and forth on it for a long time. But I'm going to show you today that it, it can't be that the 70 weeks is strictly related to Jerusalem when they captured it. Even though the count to Jerusalem is at the end of 14 years, the 70 years of Jerusalem would be fulfilled. You might want to say, well, we can probably just say it is. But we have to go look at the scriptural evidence, right? But here's the good thing. If somebody says, well, no, no, remember, there might be more than one Babylon, right? In fact, there probably is more than one Babylon. There might be a way to see it that at the end of the 70th, when they come out, that the final Babylon is destroyed as well. So there is that potential of looking at it that way. But I'm going to show you what Daniel was talking about. You see, because what Daniel said about him understanding the years according to Jeremiah. Okay, it's a big deal. That, that's the key to understanding it. <clears throat> but what we also have to understand is when they got Israel in 1948, do you know they also had Jerusalem? It was separated, right? It was separated, but they still had Jerusalem. In 1967, you had the Six Day War to which they got Jerusalem back, right? The other half of it, but they turned around and they gave the Temple Mount to Jordan to control. Now, you can say, well, the Jews still control uh, the other half of Jerusalem now, right? They still do because they've been building on it, right? They've been encroaching, encroaching, and encroaching. But they still had. They were still what? In the land. They still had Jerusalem when they came into the land in 1948. You see, because it was the, uh, it was the British that were holding Jerusalem for the 50 years, right? And people would say, well, until they would say 50 years to 1967, but they were holding it after even, I think it was what, 1918, uh, was it 1898 or 1888 or something like that? 1898, I think it was, when they had made this, this decree and there was this 50 years, well, uh, uh, um, uh, British, we're holding it, right? See, under it was under the British mandate. And they held it. But in 1948, when Jerusalem moved in, the British were no longer in control. You see, the Jews had a portion of it. So when we're looking at when they came into the land, there's no getting around this count and trying to say, well, Maybe it's the fifth year and then it goes one further. It, it doesn't line up because the Lord said the fifth year was theirs. You see? So let me go back. Let's make sure I'm covering these things. Okay, so of course, yes, they got it in 1948. They got it on May 14th of 1948. Okay, we, we showed the count, so I don't actually need this calendar anymore. I'm going to delete some of these things. Okay, we know when they came a nation. And this is a thing to keep in your, in your memory bank in this too, is you want to recall that they joined the UN also in May of 1949. Okay, it's going to be important to remember. So when we go to Daniel chapter 9, 
we're seeing these 70 weeks. And we showed this understanding of the weeks many times recently, right? Because weeks can mean more than one thing, by the way, okay? It could mean the feast of weeks. It could also be an actual seven-day period. And let me show you an example of it, okay? Right here. We were sharing it earlier. Genesis 29, 27, fulfill her week. Huh, see that? Fulfill her week. So what was he doing, right? It was the seven day wedding. So it was an actual week. And then we've got other clear cut cases like this in Exodus 34, 22 with the Feast of Weeks, okay? And we're gonna share, we're gonna talk on those as well. So this here is the Lord God telling us 70 feasts of weeks are determined to cutting you off, see? to make a cut off. You're gonna see in this revelation here exactly what's being said. You see, he's saying this is 70 weeks and when these 70 weeks are done, once these 70 weeks that have been determined are complete, it's cut off time. Why? Because it's to bring in, it's to make an end of everything, to bring everything to a finish. Remember, guys, see, to make an end, to finish, to make reconciliation, it's not right away. It's this process that's going to take place over what he says next. Know, therefore, and understand. So we're to really now know something and understand it. And listen to how it starts. That from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to rebuild Jerusalem. We're gonna go into that in a moment, okay? 70 weeks are determined. And at those 70 weeks, a cutoff is coming. And he says, know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem, remember how we've talked about this many times, how the churches that do teach on prophecy just skip over this or read right through it? Do you know why? because they can't understand why Jerusalem has to be destroyed. They don't know that Jerusalem must be destroyed and be at rest for seven years before the Lord can build on it, you see? He's not gonna build on that desecrated land of his. So there's gonna be a commandment to restore and to rebuild Jerusalem unto Messiah the Prince, okay? That's to the Messiah. So he's telling you, when is it going to start? 70 weeks are going to deter be determined and know therefore and understand from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to rebuild. What does that mean? That means Israel's already been attacked. Hello. You're not going to give a, a commandment or a decree to rebuild it if it's still standing. Which means